हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न अबाउट द नेचुरल हिस्ट्री ऑफ डिजीज सो नेचुरल हिस्ट्री ऑफ डिजीज इंक्लूड्स द डिजीज फ्रॉम द अपीयरेंस ऑफ सिम्टम्स टिल द रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ द डिजीज द होल थिंग दैट इज हैपनिंग इज नेचुरल हिस्ट्री ऑफ डिजीज सो इन द नेचुरल हिस्ट्री ऑफ डिजीज फर्स्ट वी हैव आइसबर्ग फिनोमिनन सो इफ दिस इज द आइसबर्ग दैट इज द सी लेवल देन द tip of the iceberg includes the cases which are seen by the physician tip of the iceberg includes all the cases which are seen by the physician whereas the vast submerged portion is the cases which are hidden that means hidden cases of disease these uh, vast submerged portion include latent cases or carriers or asymmetric cases these a uh, hidden cases are the cases which are of importance for epidemiologist the the line between the submerged portion and the tip is the line of demarcation that is the water surface which will tell us about the difference between the apparent and inapparent infection these disease hidden cases are important for epidemiologist whereas the tip of the cases are seen by the physician so first we do screening screening is done for the hidden cases and diagnosis is done for the cases at the tip so uh, if you see one of the important one liners diseases does which does not show iceberg phenomenon diseases which does not show iceberg phenomenon includes rabies tetanus measles and rubella rabies tetanus measles and rubella do not show iceberg phenomenon all the cases are expressed or exposed next if you see we have two phases of natural history of disease first pre pathogenic phase of disease which is before the onset of disease for man and the step which we take is primary prevention is taken for pre pathogenic phase of disease second we have pathogenic phase of disease which include entry of organism then multiplication of disease then occurrence of disease then there can be disease starts from initiates and then it progresses and then we can have the patient can recover from disease or he might end up with disability or he might die due to disease then so host can be a clinical case subclinical case or he can be ca carrier in this pathogenic phase of disease we have two levels of prevention that is secondary and tertiary prevention first and foremost thing is if we screen for the disease that will improve the prognosis of the disease and increase the survival of the person then we have control of disease control of disease in the control of disease we have one thing called has surveillance surveillance is a process uh, by which we will first we will collect the data and then we will analyze the data and give the results so we will analyze first collect and analyze the data and then we will do some propose some action to prevent the disease spread and disease progression that is surveillance surveillance is of three types passive active and sentinel surveillance first passive surveillance in passive surveillance the data is itself reported to the health systems this passive surveillance is the most common health most of the health programs which are present in india run on passive surveillance where the patients themselves come to the doctor or health system surveillance about morbidity and mortality data collection is also comes under passive surveillance then we have active surveillance in active surveillance the health system goes to the community and collect the data instead of uh, uh, patients coming out here the health system itself goes to the community and collect the data these include two programs which are national vector burn control program and national leprosy elimination program comes under active surveillance then we have the third type of surveillance which is important see national leprosy uh, elimination program and national vector borne control program comes under active surveillance where the health worker goes to different places to to the page to the people to collect the data then we have sentinel surveillance 
सेंटिनल सर्वेलेंस इंक्लूड मॉनिटरिंग द रेट ऑफ अकरेंस ऑफ स्पेसिफिक कंडीशन एंड इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स आइडेंटिफाइज द मिसिंग केसेस एंड सप्लीमेंट्स द नोटिफाइंग केसेस सो इन सेंटिनल सर्वेलेंस इट मॉनिटर्स द रेट ऑफ अकरेंस ऑफ स्पेसिफिक कंडीशन एंड आइडेंटिफाइज द मिसिंग केसेस एग्जाम्पल इज नेशनल एड्स कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम इन दिस फर्स्ट ए पर्सन विद एड्स ही इज आस्ट हुम डिड ही हैव कॉन्टैक्ट विद एंड देन वी विल ट्रेस आउट दोज पर्सन एंड फ्रॉम दोज पर्सन वी विल ट्रेस आउट देयर कॉन्टैक्ट लाइक दैट वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द मिसिंग केसेस इन ए कम्युनिटी सो एग्जाम्पल इज नेशनल एड्स कंट्रोल प्रोग्राम देन वी हैव टू थिंग्स वन मॉनिटरिंग एंड सर्वेलेंस मॉनिटरिंग इज performance and analysis of routine measures is monitoring that is performance and analysis of routine measures is called as monitoring and in surveillance continuous scrutiny of factors that determine the occurrence and distribution of disease is surveillance so uh the one more difference between monitoring and surveillance is monitoring is one time linear activity you will do only once whereas surveillance is continuous cycle where you will trace one person from them you will trace all the contacts and from them you will trace all the contrast contacts surveillance in surveillance only there is feedback is present in monitoring once stopped this monitoring is stopped once the disease is eliminated or eradicated but surveillance is continued even even after the disease is eliminated monitoring is a smaller concept whereas surveillance is broader concept so this is about the natural history of disease thank you for watching my lecture thank you